In this week's Training Minute, we will look at the 5S method. The objective is to become familiar with the 5S method to better organize your work environment. One indication that an organization is not as productive as it thinks it is, is a disorganized work environment. In order to make work more efficient, the application of a process management and improvement method is often the solution. One of the most popular and well-known organizational methods is the five S's, a Japanese philosophy that represents five practices, sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. The first step, sort. This step consists of sorting all the objects according to which belong in the workstation and getting rid of everything that is unnecessary. Items that are always in use should be kept within easy reach, while items that are only used occasionally should be stored outside the work area. The second step, set in order. This step consists in facilitating the use of materials and tools by putting them in well-defined places. This is intended to promote a more efficient and productive work environment. It's a good idea to invest in filing cabinets and shelves to keep everything organized and to use visual aids to indicate where to put things. Remember that there is a place for everything and everything in its place. The third step, shine. For a workplace to be effective, it must be cleaned and kept clean in an orderly fashion. Identify the causes of uncleanliness and develop a daily, monthly, and annual cleaning schedule to ensure a clean work environment. The fourth step, standardize. This step consists of establishing and defining the rules and work standards to be followed in order to keep tools and materials tidy. It is important to write instructions and procedures for tasks that are likely to produce errors. The fifth and last step, sustain. This step consists of maintaining the workplaces and setting up a system for checking the application of the 5S method. Without a rigorous control of the first four S's, the method loses its effectiveness. There should be regular follow-ups and feedback so that employees know where to improve. Employees should set aside time at the end of each day to put away all the tools used during the day. We have now reached the end of this week's Training Minute. See you next week! For more information on our training courses, visit our website at actualisation.com or reach us at 1-877-688-0101. Actualisation, training and consulting since 1970.